Milka Singh, a talented name who achieved many things in his life. There are many accomplishments that always attaches to this person. Today, this person is no more on this earth, yet he has given us profound knowledge through his actions that we can use in all the aspects of life to improve. Hi, my name is Arindam. Today, I will be your host and in this video, we will discuss about how we can improve English communication using the lessons given by Milka Singh through his actions. If you are new to this channel, I highly recommend you to consider pressing the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can never miss any update and make sure to share this content with someone who you feel can get the benefit most out of it. Without any further ado, let's start. The first thing that can help us to improve our communication through the life lesson given by Melka Singh is identify your goal. Identify your specific goal, your specific target. Yes, that's the first lesson. I remember while watching this movie of Melka Singh, there was this target that Melka Singh got from his coach. After getting defeated in Australia because of multiple distractions and abnormalities and of course some anomalies, he finally with a sense of humiliation went up to his coach, Melka Singh went up to his coach and asked for a specific target which could help him beat the world record. To which his coach gave him a record of 49.5, 49.5 seconds, yes. He had to complete a marathon in 49.5 seconds. That was the world record and that gave him specific direction in his life. He kept that 49.5 figure even at a place where he used to put the ideals of God. Similarly, when it comes to communication, when it comes to English, you need a specific day or date in your mind. If you say that I can or I want to improve English in coming days, it is a wishful thought. You are not giving any dedicated day or date to your mind. As a result of which, what will happen? Even if you improve 1 or 2 percent, your subconscious mind will come trigger and say that see you have improved your English. You never said how much you want to improve. That is the trick that mind will start playing with you if you do not give it a specific figure. So my point of view is that over the next two months or three months that you can think of the target. For me personally, when I was setting a target, I gave myself at least 120 days. Yes, 120 days. So let's say today, if it is 25th of July or 24th of July or the date in which you are watching this video, set up a calendar that let's say if you want to achieve profound communication skills in next two months, which is 60 days and today if it is 24th July, then by 24th of September, you will ensure by hook or crook that you have improved communication skills. Absolutely. That is the number one lesson that we need that every goal should have a number, should have a figure. A goal must be measurable and it should be time bound. A goal without measurement and time is a wish. And I believe if you carry this attitude, it will not take you far. That's the number one lesson. The number two lesson that we need to learn from Milka is identify distractions. Absolutely. Identify distractions. I have seen plenty of people who have this innate desire to improve communication skills, yet as soon as they start tapping onto their social media or YouTube to get some insights on English, they start getting distractions, get multiple notifications of movies, songs, reels and comedy videos that distracts them. Endless hours go by and they cannot simply keep a track of it. As a result of these distractions, they feel, they think that they have worked hard or they watch multiple videos on English, yet the focus was never in English, it was in distractions. So if you see the life of Milka Singh, when he got distracted in one of his races, 
which was an international trip, he got distracted by some females, female friends. He never interacted with female on that open level as a result of which he got distracted. He couldn't perform the way he wanted. He failed and he cried. And if you watch the movie, if you see the life lesson from Milka, he slapped himself and he punished himself for getting distracted. And he took a commitment, he took the oath that next time onwards, he will never ever get distracted. In fact, even after achieving multiple successes, there are plenty of people who came her way. There was an incident when a lady came up to her. She looked beautiful, magnificent, yet Melka Singh simply folded his hands, humbly apologizing and telling her that it is not your mistake. Your feelings are completely true, but I have my own challenges. I have my flaws. I get easily distracted. Hence, I simply cannot accept you as my friend. I have to leave. I need to focus on my mission. I need to focus on my goals. That amazing identification to distraction and focusing in your goal will take you at par. In English communication as well, you will get plenty of distractions. There will be days and time when you will feel not going not doing the activity, not performing your assignments or not even watching the absolute content or reading book. Yet, I strongly urge and challenge you to not give up even at that point of situation too. You need to identify all the distractions. It can be social media, it can be people, it can be your friend zone and set a time for all of this. If your social media consumption time is one hour, reduce it down to 10 minutes. See, small things can create big changes in life. One is greater than zero. Always remember. So even if you improve by 1% every day, in 100 today, you will be 100% improved. So identify distractions and distractions which are keeping you away from your practice of improving communication skills. And I promise you within the next two or three months, you will beat 70% of your competition if you just practice this small act of discipline. Number three, raise your standards. Absolutely. I have seen plenty of people, they try and try and try. And once they start seeing not getting the results, they start crying. And my highest recommendation to all of you is that don't never ever try because people who try, they always cry. Just do it. The tagline of Nike, just do it. So you always need to raise your standards. If you go for an interview, give a presentation, you do not get the required result. Again, I want you to take the learnings from your past and not give up. Do not consider anything as failure. Failures are not digestions. We experience only two things in life. We either get success or we either learn from experiences. So take this as a positive gesture because the same experience and the lessons learned from that experience will help you in your next phase of life. In Milka Singh too, if you see Milka Singh's life, initially he used to practice and squeeze his sweat in a mug, which later on he upgraded to a bucket, a full bucket. So initial during his initial days, he used to squeeze his sweat in a mug. But then slowly and gradually, he upgraded it to a bucket where he used to fill the entire bucket with his sweat. His work hours are intense. He was crazy. He was bad about his performance. The same level of commitment and distraction free environment we need to improve our communication skills. You need to raise your standards. You should never settle for who you are, what you are. You always need to go one step beyond where you are. And trust me, it will take your life to the next level. So make sure that you raise your standard, not give up practice. If you practice for one hour, raise it to one hour, 15 minutes, raise it to one hour, 30 minutes, raise it to two hours, increase your practice persona, increase your word collection. If you feel that you struggle to collect words, make sure that every day you collect initially, you start collecting two words, then three words, four words, five words, and gradually there will be abundant list of words to support your statements, to support your English communication. And last but not least, it is always have some coach and mentor in your life. If you see in Milka Singh's life, he gave 
a credit in one of his speeches where he said that my age is 85 today but still all of the wins that i got in my life i give the credit of all those winnings to my coaches always and always have somebody who can listen to you point your feedback and help you getting ahead see a coach can never do the work on your behalf but a coach can push you a coach can be there with you when you are down and a coach can give you the right feedback as chanakya says that smartest people are not those who learn from their mistakes but from the mistakes of others and a coach since he has seen multiple people making mistakes he or she can guide you not making the same mistakes and get the same results in less amount of time hence these are the four life changing lessons that we can learn from milka singh and apply the same in our journey of improving communication skills i believe this video can be a game changer for you and will give you a certain sense of direction if you have liked this video please drop in the comment section what are the four five or 10 learnings out of this video and your point of action what will you do after watching after finishing this video will you again go criticize yourself and follow the same routine of procrastination or are you going to take the charge of your life and improve your communication skills set a specific deadline to your goal of achieving exquisite communication i will be waiting for your comments and if you are new to this channel press the bell icon thank you so much for staying till the end god bless you keep learning keep growing